Hey everybody, it's grand final time. We go racing. Can't wait to see what happens between these legends of this. It's early, it's Min Chan Kim in the front of this for X Place. Remember, they're racing in blue and Apex are racing in white. Peak and Klein in the middle of the two pilots for X Place, but it's empty cat for not anymore. Killian Rousseau is moving around. Peak and Klein have moved up indeed, and everybody is getting mixed up everywhere. We'll just take all of the pilots' names, throw them up in the air, and see who comes down in front of who. Klein now in the lead, Peak, it's gone back to being an Apex 1-2, Killian Russo fighting it out at MTK. It is super late at night for him in South Korea, as we mentioned earlier. I think that is tired, it's getting to him. The machine is, uh, is fallible, everybody. Peak into the slalom, I thought he'd miss that bit, but he made it work through the cone, very, very tight. Klein up in the first, Russo can stop this being a 1-2. Yeah, He's definitely going to stop it being a 1-2 yeah, now after Peak has crashed. Russo comes in in second, but Klein nice. explodes and gets a win in a great time of 45-8-11. One point for Klein, one win for Klein, I should say. One win for Peak. Apex with a 2-0 lead. Last time on the daytime track for these pilots. Let's see what they can do. Here we go. And Rousseau has jumped the start. So that gives him a one second penalty with no throttle, which sends him to the back. Unusually, we've seen all four of these pilots side by side on the start, but not anymore here. And Peak has messed up the entry into the iconic tower dive. Rousseau has somehow managed to move up past MTK, even though he's got a second throttle or uh, penalty. So MTK is definitely not feeling it in his grand final, and yet he's ahead of Klein. And apparently he's ahead of Rousseau now as well. He's moved. Klein, Kim goes to the front. Klein goes uh, behind him through the iconic gate, the iconic dive, and Klein is attacking now. Look at this. Through the straight, but here's Rousseau's view. He's down in third. Klein is now in third. Rousseau's passed him. MTK goes to the lead. MTK has been there for a while now. Rousseau looks like he might make this one too. If Klein yeah. can't catch him, Kim comes into the finish. Chilling, Rousseau's going to make that? it too. Yeah, yeah. Got a bit to our what a performance. And there he is. Yes, <laughs> Klein and Peak behind him. Yeah, it's it's unlikely that these teams, any of these top three world championship teams, are going to tie on points. But should it happen, heat points that they've acquired for the season are going to matter. And of course, when you're a team like Apex, you fight this thing through to the bitter end, don't you? Let's see what happens in heat number 11. I think Thomas Peterson is going to be beating himself up that he hasn't been able to deliver that kind of performance in every race so far, but it's given him the, uh, the bit between the teeth here as he's in the lead over Gamble on this one, and Espunia singularity is not far behind either. Zamora is five seconds behind everybody. One goes one through McDonald's, the other one goes the other way through Lax. Switzerland is all good. There's Peterson threading those cubes really well, but Gamble has threaded them even better. Up to the hurdles now, under and over. You see how far behind Zamora is, but it doesn't matter. Espunia is quite a long way behind the leading two of Gamble and Peterson. There's half, wow, there's five hundredths of a second between these two pilots as they are neck and neck through all no. of the gates. Here's Peterson's view. He won't no. He's in front of Gamble. Oh, he no. might go now. Oh, no. As Peterson has won it, and as Junior has got second, as Gamble got tangled oh, on a cue. Zamora oh. limps home nine seconds behind. It's two yeah. points for Apex. Ten points to five X blades over Apex with one more heat of this grand final to go. Will they extend it? Will Apex get more back? Enjoy it, everybody. The final race of today. All four of them out of blocks, all four of them through Breitling, all four of them through Lax, Switzerland in one cube in the second cube. We've never had a race start off this closely here, but Peterson has hit the early one of the hurdles. It started off so close between all. Now currently it's x in a 1-2 over Espunia as they come back down to Lake Zurich, swing their way around through the McDonald's gate, and Espunia is three tenths of a second behind them. And uh, hanging around there, his gap's not getting bigger or smaller. Oh, there he goes, he moves past Zamora. Singularity attacking the hurdles with venom in his veins. Campbell just slightly ahead of him. Espuna chases him up the ramp now. Zamora is in third. Peterson is still three seconds out of this. We're in the middle of lap number two with Campbell just holding it over. Espuna, three tenths of a second is still what that gap is. Can he thread the cubes even better than Campbell? Campbell makes it. Yeah. One more break point. Espuna comes yeah. in, brilliantly finishing. Actually beaten yes. by Zamora at the end. Peterson is behind a lot of them, but x plays. Rule the 12th heat of the Grand Finals and the Grand Final and the day.